Hello everyone, Lionheart here, and yes, it is more Precision Strike content. I am loving the various versions of Precision Strike out there right now, and while I had a blast playing the one-turn Alza Slam with Simless and all of those orbs, the control low unit list, it just feels so good. And I honestly, I couldn't resist playing some more. I've been playing it on and off for the last sort of two or three days. And I enjoy it so much right now. So I put together another video. Now, the list relies on uninteractivity and maximizing the disruption of your opponent's game plan, which can be a little challenging sometimes. And it's definitely worth watching a few matches before you just dive into the list, especially if you're new to Gwen. Now, cards like the Sabertooth Tiger and Sosynthesis will both allow you to have points on the board that your opponent can't touch. It's one of the beauties of these lists. It makes it really difficult for your opponent to play out their game plan if they have nothing to touch, especially into matchups like Syndicate at the moment because it tries to spend a lot of its points proactively uh, rather than boosting itself. Your bomb cards also then start doing work, removing units and gaining extra points from Maddock. You know, when he doesn't jump to the wrong row. One thing this list can do though, when he does that, is pair up with making a bomb. You can click on your Maddock, who is comfortably sat in the wrong row, as I am confident he is coded to do. And you can actually take a larger unit. You can kill a 7 with a making a bomb into a different row that you have just clicked Maddock on. So it can re-enable that and also help to re-enable the Sabertooth Tiger's effect as well. Sabertooth Tiger will damage by 2 if a unit is alone in the enemy row. So definitely, definitely some nice synergy in there. You also have Simless in this list. Now Simless has targets in this list for the double play spells. Usually you are aiming for Alza's Thunder as your main target. The reason for that being Nature's Rebukes, if you're having to wait to use those, it'll take a while. Your Forest Protector may end up feeling a little bit awkward in your hand or you may end up committing the Simless too early. The reason you would ideally not like to use the bombs is because you miss a turn of potentially clicking on the Maddock, so it ends up not being as good as you'd like. But the Simless can feel really, really nice, and those are, are obviously backup targets, even the making a bomb as a backup target, if you've had to commit one of those thunders due to an awkward hand earlier on in the game. Now, the video you're about to watch includes three matches against three different leaders, the first matchup is against the legendary Pyreball. Uh, it was a great match, really fun to play, and you'll you'll see how that goes. Um, the second one is one of the list's tougher matchups, and something you will undoubtedly be facing a lot on the ladder. Force of Nature Relics. It is the super greedy version that took last season's Koshi with Karanthir and thought, you know what this needs? Self Eaters, Gurnacora, and Mamuna. It is one of those kind of lists, and that is definitely one of the harder matchups for this, one you certainly have to concentrate on. Uh, I played against that twice in a row today, and we beat it both times in Pro Rank, which felt really nice. Um, and then the final one, I've got to be honest, it was the most control match I have ever played. It has to be the most discards you will watch in a Gwent game. I think in three rounds, well, you count the number of units that were played and you let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please do consider dropping it a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. I hope you enjoy this, guys. I will play one game with the control version of this, um, as someone asked me to. Uh, so we'll give that a go. And I will queue a mirror instantly, of course, because that's just how this works. Um... That's just always how this works. Ba, ba, da. You want Harry Potter fact number three? All right, I got you. Harry Potter... Oh, okay, that's not... Oh, it's going to be fucking mill. Um, there are 142 different staircases at Hogwarts. The more you know. 142 different staircases at Hogwarts. So wait, I'm the control version. This version is... Okay, it's that one. So there's no Simless to unbrick my hand. That's not bad. The more you know, yeah. The Vats are really something. We have lots of different Vats. Oh, it's Cloggers. Blech. Okay. So. On red coin, this is normally a pain. But with making a bomb, less so. Right? 
because now they're going to they'll row stack and I can then drop the making a bomb. Uh, number four, that was tantalizing. Okay, I, I've piqued your interest. After Steven Spielberg decided not to direct the very first Harry Potter film, he recommended M. Night Shyamalan. However, he also turned the project down. Imagine M. Night Shyamalan directing Harry Potter. Those plot twists, you'd never have seen them coming. Voldemort would actually have been Harry's dad all along. He would have changed the whole film. Whole film. Mind blown. A big oxy, thank you for the follow. It would be enjoyable. It would be very enjoyable. Chat, I am six people away from 5,500 followers. Wild. You're going to give me this? Interesting. You follow and unfollow. Gee, thanks, Frog. Cheers, Q4. STKO, thank you for the follow. I think that's probably the best pro I'm going to get in this matchup. It's Clog, right? Yeah, I think I think I just take this. So now I basically say to Clog, call cool, I'll win on even. Uh, but yeah, thank you for those follows. Would have made it so Hogwarts ended up being in the Matrix. <gasps> Oh, good. It's an... Okay. Your clog, Maddock. No shot, right? Do we believe they have banished bombs as well? Because this could really ruin my day here. Um... I don't want them to have bombs in hand anymore. Um... So, oh, it's this. Oh, okay. We're going to be this guy, are we? Okay. Oh, no. You're just going to give me squirrels. Poggers. I'll take a squirrel. Two dead nobles. I mean, I can a Nero Maxi at will here, which is kind of funny. Um... Now, if they've got Banish Bomb, I'm pissed, right? But if it happens, it happens. I rolled the doggo. Happens. Nick is best boy. You, you, you know what I mean? Kind of fine with it. So they're going to do that and grab themselves a banish bomb now, right? Get rid of my Maddock, if they've got any sense. That's going to be the card they've just brought here. Northern Wind? No, it's a Letho! Respectable. And by respectable, I mean no. Now, I'm also going to banish this. Problem is, I don't want to give leader. So, am I ever literally pinging this once with leader just so I can banish it again because it's really funny? Even though it bricks my leader. Heatwave the Chad! You know what? I may actually just heatwave it. No, because if it's double Maddock, it's single Colgrim, right? And I need this for the Colgrim, I think. All right. You've convinced me. Last season, uh, Energix, Colgrim, Double Matter Pot, yeah. We're on red coin, remember, so at this point I'm just trying to be an absolute asshat. Successfully, I'm very talented at it. Um... A Dragon Slayer. Great name, thank you for the follow. Good Maddock, by the way. This Maddock actually understands how he's supposed to be. I'm just, at some point, I'm a narrowing Maxi just to really ruin everything they've done as well, which is mwah, very chef's kiss. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This Fallow Bomb is going to be lovely. Just played your first game of Storybook Call. You came third. It's legit fun. I hear great things. I really, really need to um, get up early and watch Trinet in the morning. Problem is, I'm usually streaming when Trinet's streaming at the moment. And I really miss his streams. The guy's awesome. Um, and I know he's been playing a lot of it. And I meant, I meant to watch. Imagine being six cards into the game and the score is still 4-1. Welcome to Control. You love it as well. I really need to give it a go, Gulo. I'm hearing great things. And it seems like the mainstream isn't picking it up, but everybody loves it, which is a little weird, right? But yeah, Rain plays a lot of it as well. Oh, you love the 4-1 score. It's better than the, like, 400-1 to score. Christ, that was a late pass. Okay, so I've won on even here, which means I've got a free and Nero. Trilet goes live before you go to bed. No way. Like, Trilet shouldn't be live for another about six hours yet, right? Because he's usually live at about 6 a.m. my time. So I pass here. I pass here, my mulligans are garbage. So, but I won on even anyway, so I'm just... Bleeding like crazy. I mean, last say is massive in the mirror here, but just to bleed for free is kind of good. I'm inclined to say, right? Get rid of that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's so good. Um, right. A Nero Sosenthesis, yeah. Or I no, you know what? I squirrel the Cynthia in case they bring it back because that's just freaking hilarious. They can steal my Maddock, unironically, here. They can steal my Maddock with this. That could be a problem. Well, that's a problem. It's annoying, right? But if they don't Cantarella instantly, I prevent them doing that. They probably have held a Banish Bomb, though. Yeah, I was gonna, I'm just going to banish it, right? But I'm annoyed about it, is what I'm saying to you. I'm annoyed about it. They give me another one of those, that's fine. They steal and I banish again. Yes. Welcome to the jungle, where we've got fun and games. We've got everything you want. Next line, chat. Don't want you to have any spying targets. Thank you. So you're playing on the front row from now on. Good to know. Ah, defender, poggers. What you defending, chap? What you defending? Nothing. That's what you defending. Nothing. Boop. What <laughs> matter? Oh no. You know you almost feel mean bit late to that party, fella. Um, uh, they've heatwaved it, and I have one bomb left. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, I'm just going to hit this because it turns this on. Yeah, you heard me. Still having first in Nero. Banish Defender for Renew. Yeah, that's kind of the plan, right? Can't believe they just heatwave that. And good evening, Shinmiri. How are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not what you want to see. Oh, dear. Yikes. So, so far, Cynthia has been banished. Uh, the Defender has been banished. Two separate... Oh, my lord. This is not coming up Millhouse for my opponent at all. I'm genuinely going to ping this, kill this Forest Protector, right? You have Leader! Why are you not... I suppose you don't want to overcommit, but... Like, fella, seriously, the... you've just played two Sinning cards. Right? Do I need... I... Opponent has Leader, yeah. I'm a little... I'm a little confused here, i got to be honest. But I think I'm supposed to do this, right? He thinks the bleed is pointless. I mean, he's just made his leader considerably less pointful. Okay. 
Wants the points in round three. Imagine thinking we're going to round three. It's cute. We are, because they'll give me their leader now, but... And I have first at Nero, so I always commit it here, and I probably commit it for a maxi, unless I think Gord is going to win me the game at 12. Which it could do when they've just given me their two leader, two of their three leader targets on a plate. Uh-huh. So this will grow by six. So they're going to have to play the card here. Right? I can just Simless and kill it. Right? Do I just Simless and kill it with Double Thunder? I think so. Yeah. Even if it's Renew, then we just win, right? And I thin by even more, actually. Yeah, so even Renew... I mean, Leader Renew might just do it. Uh, no, actually, no, because the Colgrim plays for four anyway. So they would only have 11. Imagine if you'd done this with the two thinning. Oh, you found one of them. That's really talented. Oh, oh, the Dancing Star gets them out by a point. <laughs> oh, no. Oh my god, by a point! <laughs> Honestly, I kind of respect it. I kind of respect it. I almost want to hold this squirrel. There's no, like, do I hold the squirrel? Obviously. And just get rid of the Colgrim because it's funny. Because they play first, right? They play first. So surely they have to just... They can't. They can't play at turn one. Colgrim's adrenaline one. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm keeping the hand, right? Yeah, I'm keeping the hand. Oh. It's justice for them giving you so many squirrels. The squirrel army coming in clutch. This, watch this actually be hyper thin, and I'm absolutely balked secretly. Uh huh, uh huh. Um, nom, 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 nom. No shot I actually lose here, right? This is a 14 15, and I've got a synthesis for just 8. Eh, we should be fine. Please have a renew for like a 4. Please? Dini, grant me my first wish. Okay, this is a little mean. Prisca Squire tells so much fun right now. It's unreal. Uh, so I play this synthesis because they just can't interact with it, and then Gord just wins, right? Can we just a Nero another Squirrel? <laughs> I mean, we could, but that's a little mean. Um, I'm not actually going to throw when my MMR is sub-2400. Um, yeah, because right now, technically, we're even... Um, so I'm relying on their last card not being 50. Okay, we could have played the squirrel. It was designed by X-Magic the Gathering Pros. I did actually, Baladias, yes. I did. I've always wanted to unclick this. How does your deck... That you're playing beat monsters? Honestly? There's no shot I just beat Pyreball. What? Why am I queuing Paja? What <laughs> is happening? Oh my god, how am I being Pyreball? That's not right. It's like, I don't know if Paja's got like a younger sibling or something. There's no shot I'm being Paja. It's just not, right? It's this... and I think that's Paja's new name. There's no way I'm beating him. That's not real. Oh. Why is he playing Plog? Pasha, what are you doing? That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Pasha got hacked. I better wish I better tell the devs quick. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
thought it was an L? No, it doesn't have to be an L. Even losing on even doesn't need to be an L. Uh, this list's really good. This list's really good. I'm really happy with this list. I'm really happy with the work we're doing with this list. So now you're going to see that, like, again, we're on red coin this time. But two times in a row, can we beat it? I don't know. We've just beaten it. But it's, it get, it's definitely not an easy matchup. It is definitely not a simple matchup. This list really counters. It counters a chunk of the meta, yeah. But honestly, this list should do work against us. I'm going to be real with you. Um, They're probably going to open with something like a Necker or possibly just a, a selfie to boosted here. A boosted selfie to maybe. So that's a really nice opening play for them. Because nice. their next play is going to be selfie to boost then. Very tempted to Falibom right now. Very tempted. I'm, I don't want to Enero Falibom. If I'm being honest. Yeah, NGONR is now Nilfgaard on Northern Realms, but we just didn't. We just played Nilfgaard and then didn't get any further. Which two to three decks seem strongest to you right now? Um, mid range line pockets, uh, monsters that runs all of the win conditions, um, and probably this precision strike list. If I'm being honest, I would say that's the sort of top three. Uh, certainly to me, that's the top three anyway. Um, whether it actually is or not, I guess time will tell. You're gonna drop a Brewis to eat this. Enjoy! Poor unfortunate soul! I would say no unit square is genuinely good enough right now. Between the power that things like Simless add to the list, I would genuinely say this list has got to be considered right up there. And I mean like right, right up there. But maybe it's just that I know how to run the list, and if I was queuing into... Can it control Syndicate? This list batters Syndicate, because Syndicate relies so heavily on spending with its coins, and at the moment it relies on doing that offensively a lot. Which it doesn't always, right? So, yeah, it, it, it has a real good time into Syndicate. Again with this. Very clever, though. Hey, Taxman. You returned to the land of the living? Wonderful. I approve of the land of the living. I'm from there. If I moon dust my own lock, Maddock, it does exactly what you think it would do. But it's just negative points. Uh, it's just not worth doing. You resubbed it with no notification. Your badge isn't showing. I see your badge. It just showed up. But welcome home, my friend. And thank you for the resub. I'll fix my green screen a second. You'll probably get two thank you, but welcome home. It will show up eventually. It's probably just lagging. But good to have you here, my friend. Thank you for the resub. It's very appreciated, as always. 
We are currently very happy with our sub count. Uh, highest it's ever been. Long may that continue. Unironically, that looks like a heat wave to me in this in this matchup. I just deny Mamuna. I get. I mean, this is just. I've just got to take it, right? I've just got to take it. If I had um, Geralt Pro, and I probably should have just taken something earlier and pinged and Geralt Pro this. Geralt Pro is just as valuable if I still have leader as this. Um, so I think I'm going to take the heat wave on the selfie to here. Deny the engine. It's a big card and it trades up, right? Um, ba -da 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 -da. Okay. So, we'll check. Mm. Ping, ping, kill is also an option, but I don't really want to use that, and I feel like that's more valuable later. Um, so I think I'm just going to maxi for now. So, draw... Okay, my next three, I'm going to draw these two cards and have a thunder I don't want, right? So, of my five cards, those are the five I'm seeing. And I get, get I do get the Geralt Pro. I do get the Geralt Pro. What's my availability tomorrow? Oh, sorry, Matt, but I missed that. Uh, doing a schedule may have to move things around, depending on what we do for the interview. Tell me when you need me and I'm yours. Tell me when you need me and I'm yours. I'm yours. Don't forget a Nero. True! A Nero. Yes. A Nero is going to get in the way and stop me getting the gourd. You're right. A Nero stops me getting the gourd. So I have a bricked leader next turn if I take my final mulligan. Good shout. I always forget that a Nero adds to that. Yeah, just tell me when you're free, bud. Just tell me when you're free. I can make your, like, the, like two-ish your time. I can make the evening. Just tell me. 3 p.m. my time's perfect, because I can stream, and then I can end the stream around now, grab a drink, chill, and then we can jump in a call. So I'm pretty sure 3 p.m. tomorrow works perfectly, mate. If it needs to change, just you, just DM me, or text me, or whatever. Can you not purify this? Come on! Mr. Opponent BMing isn't going to get him free resources. I'll give free resources out anyway. I'm a lovely soul. Um, generous, modest, handsome. I don't have any of those things. Um, I don't want to give the Simless yet when I don't have to. So. How did the scientist make you half lion? It's a trade secret, can't tell you. You're trying to set up a decent um, target, right? So you've got a pocket of relics. That's what you're trying to do here. So that you can have a nine point gun cane for your Mamuna. Um, I was already a lion. They made me a heart. <laughs> oh, fair. So, yeah, and D&D &D is also tomorrow. D&D &D is also tomorrow. No, when will it start, I think he means. And Bassicide! Hello, my friend. How are you doing? So, uh-huh. Good day, my friend. I hate my morning streams now, because I'm about to finish them when you get here. So, <laughs> Eh? That ain't right. I feel like that's wrong. Right? I feel like that's wrong. The problem is, I have to commit the Simless to get rid of the carryover. And I don't like that. Right? I don't like that.
The only thing that might be worth doing, Bass aside, if, could, maybe if we transfer it to UK time or CEST or something. Um, it's the only thing I would say. Because obviously most of my chat doesn't know what Eastern is. I could have I, I could have full leaded, yeah. I could have gone full leader to win on even. I don't think they passed, though. 11 p.m. CEST. Uh, yeah, Eastern's five hours, right? So, yes, I think so. I want to say 10, 11? Yeah, no, 11 CEST, you're right. You're right. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so now I full send leader, right? So it's ping, ping, bomb. Ping, ping, bomb. That's six off their total. They're on 24. I'm no further ahead. They're on 23. I gain another six, another eight. They're on 21. Hmm. Hmm. The problem is, if I give leader here, which I'm normally I'm inclined to say is what I want to do into most situations. Um, ping, ping. Bomb gets me ahead. I'm going to have the leader to get out anyway, so we do that, we do that. Yeah, we have to do it, we have to do it, and hopefully we get something else out of them. We've already got the leader, uh, which is pretty big into this matchup. Um, they have currently the square root of bagger all, uh, is the technical term for their Mamuna again. Yeah, this matchup is one that you really have to concentrate on or you're just not winning, right? Do I look tanned today? Do I look more human again? Because I feel more human. Do I look more human? Because the camera settings have been wrong for so long that I look super pale. So I've played around with them a bit. Do I actually look like a person again? Because some of the time I look back at my footage and I'm like, oh, I look orange. Oh, great. Thanks. Cheers, Duke. I, I, I know. I read that. But that's what I got. Yeah. One streamer was hit by the sun today. Mm hmm. Okay then the settings aren't quite right. Okay, so we went on even here. Um, it's kind of good. I don't need that anymore, though, because, again, that still doesn't help them. So you can go... So I push here, right? Uh, double lasse isn't going to help me. Um, the ability to prevent constantly is. So this is the hand to just go for the Zvinul. Yep. Might just be that the sun is shining on me. More human or more lion? Yes. They should open Mamuna, but they can't open Mamuna. Because this is the only Mamuna they've got. So they're irritated. They could open Karanthir into Misk. Like Karanthir Koshi here would be something they could do. Um, but the making a bomb's going to really hurt that. But that's hopefully what we get here. Karanthir into Koshi. Because it's the perfect point for that to happen. Uh, we didn't get Karanthir so far. So that is something we can get potentially. Little bit of potential. I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. Um, okay. Oh yeah, the new emotes are in! Nice! Oh, I love the new emotes. Oh my god. And thank you for updating the Bassa side. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We have new emotes. We have Lion Haver. Lion Ha Hug and Lion Ha Stare, and they are just. Mm. Is Monsters getting 2 zeroed? Uh, maybe. Unironically, could be. Uh, which one they're going to try and protect? They'll protect this, right? They'll protect this. Now it should be Lion Ha FF. Yeah, but it's an orc. <laughs> but yes, it should be. Um. I don't want to making a bomb yet. I think, I think, 
I am Nero for Geralt Pro here and kill the six, right? So they've got Damage Crone left, which is really annoying. Um, but Damage Crone trades down to this anyway. Um, so I do this. I take Geralt Pro here. Geralt Pro does that into that. The longer I can deny them units and Sabbath, the better our life is. Yeah, it, it is really cool, right? Ish, I like it. Eh? Eh? Yeah, I mean, a free bomb is great, right? So we're on 21 right now, we're up 11. Um, this is basically a 6, because unfortunately it's not going to do what I want it to do here. Um, unless they end up playing something like an Indraga Lava right now. Right. Okay. So I'm supposed to hit this, right? Because that's dying anyway next turn. Um, Maddox's going to kill that. So I hit that back row. Nope. Fine. Gord here is only a 15, right? I'm on 21, 36 points here. And you made a, a new deck for seasonal mode. Uh, no, I haven't actually, because seasonal wasn't on when we got here. They can now Mamuna this, which is kind of bad for us. They can Mamuna now for, what, eight? 14 point Mamuna is a little scary. It still doesn't turn the pig on for more than one turn. But. Yeah, the deck isn't built um, like the orb lists to have 20 plus point gourds. But. Okay, I'm up seven. I'm up seven. Um, I'm up 19 points, right? I'm up 19. There isn't a card that will play for enough, even if this transforms and is plus two. So. They need a 15, right? There isn't a 15. In As far as I know, they don't. a 15 doesn't exist. Unless it's Igni. Igni exists and we're in trouble. Mamuna is 14, right? Mamuna is 2 plus 6, which is 8, plus another 6, which is 14. Enables this 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm up 19. I lose to Igni. But with Matahuri, I don't believe it exists. So, I play this. Pass, and we beat Mamuna by one. And I don't think there's another card left. I don't think there's another card that does it. But yeah, we beat Mamuna by one, if my maths is right. Because we've denied everything that's gone into their graveyard, with the exception of these and, of course, the Elder Bear, which kind of sucks. And not and moving the elder bear was wrong in the end. Then no, it wasn't. I got eight points of damage on that. Oh, ah. two times in a row we have beaten this matchup. Now that is not an easy matchup. That is not an easy matchup, chat. It's winnable as you can clearly see, but if I am not all in concentrating on this matchup, we're not winning it. Um, yeah. What's wrong with monster players? They try desperate. They're probably facing this list a decent chunk. And if the precision strike control player gives them Sabbath at any point, it's basically game over. This list's so good. Squire's in a really nice place right now. I'm really enjoying Squire Tell right now, I've got to be honest. Um. Oh. Yeah, so uh, Kodpari, this is the one you were asking to see. This is uh, the list that actually, as Shinmiri's in chat, this is inspired almost exclusively. And let's be honest, it's his list and I changed one bomb. But that makes it mine. Um, I put in a dancing star because me smart. Um, 
Yeah, this is the control version. So this was the more controlly way of taking the list you were running um, and really synergizing in on like almost hyper control and uninteractivity. And that's how that list plays. And honestly, it's really good. It's really fun. It has loads of ways of pushing in the right way. And it, it takes a bit of thought to play a list like this. Or it does for me anyway. Um, but when when it, go, it comes off, it feels really good. And it honestly feels pretty great into this meta for me anyway. Uh, for me. So, <laughs> I mean, Borgia just got married. There are now two Borgias. So, Scoyatel being good only feels right. I'm just saying. Yeah, it, it's not actually that easy to pilot. For a list that is basically just Zack Sack everything, when you use what is really important into each matchup, but that's just practice in the meta, right? That's like, for instance, what Shin said earlier, don't give them a target VN. Now, if they have a target VN, okay, we probably just about still win that match, but denying it guarantees we win that match, right? So it's all about those little things of, if I gave the Geralt Pro earlier and I didn't have the Geralt Pro for that moment, they may end up finding more points. Uh, uh, Shin tried Storybook Brawl? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of when people are trying Storybook Brawl, and I'm, de I'm definitely going to consider it. Um, as I say, I definitely need to watch Trinet in the morning. Um, a, because I love watching Trinet in the morning. Um, but yeah. Someone from Eastern Europe playing on NA, and they said it wasn't bad. I mean, I was playing on NA servers, to be fair, all the way through the beta, and it wasn't too painful. Um, but it was notably... It was about a tenth... To a like, it was probably two tenths of a second um, difference, right? It was about two tenths of a second. Um, but in a world PDP game, that could be a big difference. Um, okay, so Reckless Flurry. But what flurry is this? Is it Maddock? Is it the control? Going to chop trees and do PvE missions? Then you are golden. PvPs for nerds? True. Kind of on board with you there, Gulo. Got to be honest. I've got the answer either way, right? This is... I, I like this hand. I'm happy with this hand. This hand is the one, chat. I believe in this hand. We go way back, me and this hand. I have faith and belief in this hand. And that's not good. I've checked my notes. That's bad for me. Still trades up to the heat wave, but... Yeah. Not ideal. Means they can't heat wave the Maddock, though. And see you later, Slon. Good night. Take care. I will be around tomorrow as I'm around every day. For day 31 in a row. I mean, it's technically day 31 in like 15 minutes, so I wonder if that counts. Probably not, right? Seriously? Really? Wow. Wow. Can community? Yeah, of course, bud. Of course. I think you can have like a hundred players, so yeah. Strike Patriot, what a great time to link my YouTube. What a wonderful decision you just made. Check out my YouTube channel chat. There's actually a deck guide for this very list up there. The most recent video is a clip, though. It's a good clip, mind you. I can't give this, right? Honestly, Pyrotex are a great card because they're infuriating as a proactive play. Because the opponent now basically knows whatever engine they play has a decent shot of dying. But discarding already? Really? Against control here, right? They're, they they have elements of control, but they're a really nice mix, I'm guessing, of control and point slam. Which is a little scary for us, because I'm more control with a point slam, right? So I'm a little nervy about this. I think I'm going to discard the rebuke here. I'm still not clicking this, by the way. I think I just discard the rebuke here, because I, I, want, I don't want to commit this asynthesis on blue right now.
Normally on blue, the discard's a bit scary, but last say is going to be massive for this matchup, I think. Okay, so they've both gone now. The Mega Scopes have both gone. Um, I can commit... I can play something like a Dancing Star and tell them basically, Hi, I'm Maddock, how are you doing? Um, Abhishek, thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome to the channel. With Leader, they always have... They can always get out in one as well, right? They can always get out in one. Um, I think I discard... Do we have a pass? Yeah, I've got a pass. But last say is really important in this game. Um, so not winning the rounds a little bit scary. So I'll, I'll, the Dancing Star is my least valuable bomb, right? Depending on the matchup. Um, so in pro rank, if your MMR drops uh, 4,200 to 4,100 when you lose games, can your rank number get higher before you owe, you're over that? No, because obviously it's based on your total MMR, right? They had a bricked portal and they're discarding. All right. Riveting gameplay. Gwent, the discard card game. Uh... Finishing is going to be more valuable than purifying because they're not running a defender. Unless this is Arnachad bullshit. This could be Arnachad bullshit. So I discard the Northern Wind because this is massive, right? The fact that this list runs Quen anyway should mean this is better. But I now discard the Northern Wind here. Peak Gwent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just trying not to give me anything to interact with. There's a good chance they're also Maddock. It's really weird, um, but it's where we are. They're going to play a card. No shot, right? Hey, AJ. Yeah, I'm just in a very frustrating matchup. All right, am I ever committing the Sysenthesis now? Commit the Sysenthesis, don't click, and then I have a... Pa Maybe I could Sysenthesis and click, to be honest, and just pass. But then I'm in a real spot of lack of... I mean, this always gets in the way anyway. I've got I've got a sysenthesis and click here. It's annoying, but we win the round. And then I can go into a long round and just try and ruin their day, right? It's more it's more that yeah, okay. So we get the win, we get the pass. So far we know now they have a bricked portal. Um they've discarded bear witches and they have no mega scopes. This could be really good for us in the event they're running like verification. Because some of their verification targets are not got there anymore. Yeah, the, the, that's the thing, right? Normally I want to bleed this as well. Um, but now I have no target. I've got no uninteractive card to drop. Um, but last say is kind of massive, right? Am I ever. I'm now passing and making them play each turn, right? Because the gourd's tiny. The gourd is literally zero. I think with the removal I've still got access to, I'm now supposed to pass and put the pressure on them instead. Right? Because worst case, last say I have leader and heat wave and I just win. Right? So I think now I actually just pass here. I'm never giving them back last say. Fuck it. The only downside to that is they can jam more points than I can really quickly. Um, so it's a little risky, but I'm treating this as if it was a mirror now. Um, okay, so you have discard cards as well. It's an interesting line against control, um, for sure. But in like in an ST mirror, in a control mirror like this, usually Lasse is basically the one that wins you the game. And if they go down the discard route, I'm reasonably confident that my Lasse and leader will beat their Lasse and leader. Provided we don't, of course, brick. I've got two bricks in there right now. Do I just keep the squirrel? Because it probably ends up getting discarded anyway. I don't want a unit. But these extra points from leader could end up being the one. Um, so I think I just hold the dead squirrel here. 
because I don't want a turn. I, like, the extra points from the leader are massive, because they are probably going to come down to what it's worth. If I mulligan this four-point squirrel away and get, like, a zero-point card, I don't think it's worth it. It would have been better if I could have grabbed a bomb or something, but Simulus is going to be... Okay, so they've literally already discarded. No messing around. I'm now going to discard my squirrel. This is the game we're playing, chat. This is the game we're playing. Verification can transform a tiger? Yep. It can. Can indeed. Well, this is going to be fun, isn't it? There's no way you're playing this game at all. The whole way with this. <gasps> okay. Welcome to Discard Gwent. I've been your host, Lionheart. Their final play is actually really nice as well, because they're going to discard all the way down to Quen Bear Witcher, right? No, no, this is one of the ways you can... No shot. After all that, you give me a target? What are you, high? What are we doing? After all that, you give me a target? Seriously? We discarded like 10 cards and you finally just throw me a bricked discard? Alright. <laughs> oh, Pajan's still drunk and changed decks. <laughs> Oh. What, what are we doing? What are we doing? There's no way, right? There's no way this is right. I think I actually throw the forest protector before I throw this bomb, right? I think I... As much, this is more points, but the most points, my last say, is either... Heatwave, or quite feasibly, Simlas Double Thunder here, right? So I'm actually thinking this, as much as it's potentially a 12, no, because this is uninteractive, gives them nothing to work with. Geralt Pro goes first. Geralt Pro goes first. I've got four removal. I've got a heat wave. It's fine. Better to bomb your own Maddock. No. I mean, actually, bombing this Maddock would actually at least make this a five, but there's a good chance Gord doesn't even hit the board in this match, to be completely honest. Okay, that's gone. Actually, I'm going to discard that. I'm never playing Gord. At best, it's a five, right? So I'm never playing this as my last card over any of this. So I just discard the Gord here. This is worth more points. Right? Like, best case scenario. Uh, yeah, no, best case scenario, it's just not Gord, right? I don't know why this opponent, knowing that I've got last say and full leader, is playing this game, i got to be honest. Like, this game is over. But, what I mean, I know. These are, this is the kind of, I mean, they could just be trying to convince me to do all the discarding and then jam, jam, jam. <laughs> it's jammed! Boggers, it's jammed! Nice, very nice. It's Arna Chad, chat. Are you ready for some Pogger Chad? Arna Chad! Dire Bear! Oh, <laughs> it's Dire Bear! Nice. Okay. Um, I fucking love Dire Bear. Units in this row cannot be boosted. Um, now, Simlas Double Thunder here is going to come out at 2, 10. So it's a 12, right? So I can... It's not a 12, quite. It's an 11. Um, do I have a Forest Protector and give them the target? I think I'm supposed to... Like, what's this card at this point? Right? It's not Axie. 
They've played Heat Wave. And it's they could damage the Oh, this is Junod. It's Junod. But they're playing Junod anyway. Yurden? It could be Dire Bear Yurden, yeah. I think we beat this anyway. But Yeah, it's Junod, right? It's not a brick Junod because they lead as Junod. So they lead as Junod, they're on 16, I'm on zero. We still win, right? So this is Junod unbricked. Yeah, we just win. We're all good. We're all good. So it is uh, Ping, 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 Pop, a Nero, Simless. Ah, thunder. thunder. Literally no cards were played this game. I mean, that honestly, that's the way you're supposed to play this. The opponent played that properly, unironically. As horrible as that probably was for you guys, that was that's actually how you're supposed to play that. Uh, well, that was fun. <laughs> the net number of units played at the end of that. Game 3 did not add much to that for sure, but it was very, very fun. Um, I had a great time filming this video, and honestly, I am really enjoying uh, the matchups with Precision Strike. I'll try not to do another video on it, I promise. Uh, maybe, just maybe, we will see if we can get the biggest Arch Griffin in Gwent history in the coming days, live on my Twitch channel. And let's be fair, if I succeed, it's probably going to end up on YouTube. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have uh, enjoyed, please do consider giving it a like. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments. And as always, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for the support, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.